Hi everyone, Hannah here. Welcome back to the channel. For anyone that's new, welcome. My name is Hannah. The day has finally arrived. It is the collection and reshuffle day. Now I am doing two videos. I'm going to show everything that I have, which is a lot. It's too much at this point. Then I'm going to probably have a bit of a purge and then I'm going to do a reshuffle. I have a new Billy bookcase to go. I know you can't see there. I will show that in a moment. A new Billy bookcase because there's quite a few. And I'm going to rejig kind of the order of everything. I've got a slight idea how I want it to look. Whether it will turn out that way, I don't know. We might have to do multiple reshuffles. This I am going to do it in two separate videos though. So this video is going to be my entire Loungefly collection. Which, Mum's right outside right now and she's seen the state of play and is a little bit horrified. But it was a bit overwhelming to do it all myself. So that's partially why it's taken this long. There's a lot. I haven't counted yet, but I will count, and I'm probably going to be embarrassed by the number, but hey-ho. So I think we'll start with the sequins. So I'm going to start up top. So we have the December Minnie Mouse main attraction from 2021, I believe. The Candy Corn Halloween sequin, the purple sequin, and the matching purse. I do have a couple of purses. Then we have the cruise line, kind of like the darker navy blue cruise. And then two of the, including ears, let me move the ears, the Disneyland Paris 30th, the one with the castle, and then the generic one with the 30th on the front. Oh, are they going to balance? Hopefully. Then we have, what was this one called? I think this one was Wishes Blue or Blue Wishes, something like that. Then the Emerald Green Sequin. Then we have the Mint Green Sequin, which I've always questioned if that should be with the green because it looks like it would probably be better down here. But anyway, and then we have one of the newer Cruise Sequins, the Teal. Now mine has lot. This did have a blue Mickey inside of the bow just there inside that Mickey. Mine came out, but it's still beautiful anyway. I mean, you can't really tell. Then... This is the first lounge flight that I ever had. So it's this one's fault that all of this has happened, the Arendelle Aqua sequin. So it's that one's fault. This one was the King Arthur's min, mini, yes, Minnie Mouse main attraction. Then we have the gold sequin. I think that was the second lounge fly I bought. And then the matching purse, the Ariel, what's this one? Ariel's Grotto Coral, beautiful coral color. And then the red sequin. Oh, right. Next we have, what was this one called? Was this one raspberry or magenta? Raspberry or magenta, whatever you want to call it. And then the mini, was this one Mickey or Minnie? See, there's that many Mickey and Minnie's that they kind of merge. I think this one again was Minnie for Small World. Beautiful purples on that one. This one, I believe, was the cotton candy pink. Either way, it's a baby pink. Another Disneyland Paris 30th one. With the sequins. Oh, shimmy out the way. This one matches actually the one that's in that corner, so purse. But this one's the Minnie Mouse January main attraction. Now I just have the pins in there. I got this one second hand. But next to it is the Mickey Mouse main attraction, both themed on Space Mountain. This beautiful one. This one doesn't have many sequins on, but I keep it with the sequins anyway. The Bride one, which does have an interchangeable bow in the back as well. And then Silver Set which is just stunning. Look at the snowflake, perfect for Christmas. So I have the silver backpack, the purse, and the lanyard. Okay, from the left of the sequins, we've got kind of, these are pretty much all like Christmas and red theme. I don't know why I did this, but there we go. So this one was a Christmas one from, oh, years ago. I can't remember how old that one is. And then we have Santa Mickey and the candy corn, not candy corn, that's candy corn, that's candy cane. I always do that. This one is the Wishes Lounge Fly for the cruise ship. Then one of the Disney Critters and a Baymax one, beautiful pink. Oh, I zoomed in. I don't know why those ones are up there. I just kind of plonked them there. And then we have the Elsa and Bruni backpack and she just happened to be on top of the Elsa doll. Sneak peek of what's to come. To the right of the sequins. Now I need to sort up top because I've kind of just bundled some of them up there. But there's R2D2. Uh, this one is from the Mickey Mouse main attraction. It's the Thunder Mountain backpack. This one is Sleeping Beauty and Aurora. Sleeping Beauty is Aurora. It's Sleeping Beauty and Maleficent. Oh, this one, actually. Let me just grab these lights off because I always knock those anyway. That one is a Baymax one. Oh, with the flowers. Then we have Obi-Wan Kenobi. 
Now onto this shelf. Eee, look at all these ones. Okay, so we have Safari Mini. I have lots of bits and bobs in front of them as well. I might move stuff around. Sorcerer Mickey. Gotta love Sorcerer Mickey. And then the oh, behind this little one, we have the Main Street Electrical Parade with the ears. I do keep the ears in that backpack. Now, this is the Walt Disney World 50th section, so I will be rejigging this one completely. The balloon backpack, which was like an all other placement. Then, now, not all the sequins are together, so I've got some princess sequins. So I've just done that sequin section for now. These two are both from the Walt Disney World 50th, the pink iridescent and the gold iridescent one. And then we have Cinderella's castle, oh, behind Riviera. So this one was from the Riviera, it's more of a shoulder bag, there is a little strap inside. The Disney, Disney World 50th Cinderella castle, pop that back. This was probably the retail most expensive one because I believe some of this is plated with real gold. But it was also made out of leather as well, so it does have that leather smell to it for the 50th. Then the all over print, Walt Disney World 50th. Oh, let me just shimmy down. These two are the original Disney Parks castles. So we have the Disneyland castle and the Walt Disney World one. I have used this one because I bought it second hand, but I'm a bit too scared to use that one. This is, what's this? Is this from the 50th as well? Yeah, so from the 50th Walt Disney World purse and the beautiful Cinderella castle. I thought it was best to keep those two together. Then we have the Ombre Parks Loungefly backpack and the Joey Chew. It's kind of like a map of Magic Kingdom with all the lands on there. The Waffle Loungefly, which eluded me for a long time, so I'm just shimmying the lights. The Waffle Loungefly. And as you can see, some of these are not properly shelved. But there we go. This one. Can I get them out? Oh, we're on a journey. What's this one? Oh, it's the June Mickey Mouse Peter Pan main attraction. La la la. Move that one out of the way. Oh, this one is the Tiki Room for the Mickey, again, main attraction. This one was teacups for Mickey. And this one, oh, I have used this one. I quite like it. This one was the February and it's the Pirates one. So there you go. Bit of a better look at that one. So this is the last one where they are properly shelved. The rest are kind of a little bit of a mishmash. So we have the Mickey, this one. Oh, God, I see, I can't reach massively well, but can I shimmy? Oh, oh, there we go. The Mickey Mouseketeer one that looks like a drum for the Disney 100. Let me just bung that there. We have the Slytherin one. The Tangled Castle series, Sleeping Beauty Castle, and then Little Mermaid and Epcot. So this are these are just some of the princess sequins. I will be putting them all together when I kind of do the reshuffle. So we've got the Cinderella sequin, the Snow oh, sorry, bash in the bag, the Snow White sequin, a Sleeping Beauty sequin with a Sleeping Beauty purse. It has Maleficent on the back. Whoop! Don't fall. And then we have the Tiana sequin. I love these two together. So it's the Rapunzel sequin and backpack. But then this Rapunzel one. Look at the gold in her hair. Love it. Oh, see, I shouldn't move things because everything's going to start falling, isn't it? Then we have, oh, excuse the ears. Another Little Mermaid backpack. Now, this is my biggest collection. The Little Mermaid ones, they're not even all here. So I'm probably going to get them all together when... I do the reshuffle. I say that like I'm not going to be doing it in an hour. Ariel and Sisters. That one's more of like a shoulder bag. The Ariel sequin. Let me shimmy down. My most special lounge fly because Jodie Benson signed this one for me and even put my name on there. Then we have Ariel and Sisters. Again, there's a theme. I like Ariel and Sisters. The Little Mermaid Castle series. King Triton. Now I do have the backpack to match this purse that does have the sisters on as well. Oops. Oh, she's going to fall. Right, well you're going to stay like that then. There we go. The Ursula and Ariel. And then I love this one. This one's a lenticular one, so it's got Vanessa and Ursula on. Another Little Mermaid purse. Now you can't see this bit very well because it's all just got stuff in front of it. This is one of the Beast Loungefly 
This is the Minnie Mouse main attraction, Thunder Mountain. We have Little Tubie, just there. This one is like the lunchbox style for the Walt Disney World 50th. The Disneyland California 65th anniversary. And then Pumpkin Mickey. Right at the back there we have the glitter and sequin purple. This Little Mermaid one matches that purse. Then we have a Lion King one. And then Hercules. And then just here, there are some more. So it's the Belle purse. This one has got Sleeping Simba on the front pocket and he's next to Tigger. The Dalmatian, oh, I'm still zoomed in on it. There we go. The Dalmatian for the Disney 100. Oh, I probably should have moved these ups. C3PO fell. Then we have this one. Oh, this is the, uh, one second. This is the Pop Figures mermaid, mermaid style set, so it is the backpack and the purse. That one I haven't shown yet, so she stays there. The Cinderella from the Disney 100, and again, oh, you can see it through there anyway. Cinderella's lenticular, she changes into her ball gown. And then this one is the Mickey Mouse main attraction for July. Behind this one is where I keep my stash of ears. So behind the door, we have two of the Wish for the kind of cruise, cruise ship. The Silver Disney 100. Ooh, shimmy shimmy. These two are the Halloween ones. One is black with orange sequins and then the other is orange with black sequins. So they're both up there for now. And then the Jasmine Castle and the Princess Book series that's got like loads of the sidekicks on there. This one is another... Oh, can I get this? Let me just... Shimmy 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 we have the live action little mermaid and then this one is also from disney cruise line right on to the next lot we have the d23 mickey mouse backpack this one is the loki shoulder bag i nearly said backpack then the loki shoulder bag backpack no frozen purse the ursula and vanessa crossbody where she changes on different sides Another Ursula. Oh, Ursula is on the front pocket. Just there. Look at this beautiful Olaf and Bruni one. With snowflakes all over. We have Tink. And she's got her wings and she's got a little pom-pom. Now this one, it's kind of a set. So it's the Villains triple pocket. And then also, let me put it next to it. The Princess triple pocket. And I do have the purse for the princesses as well but those they're kind of like a matching set aren't they shimmy shimmy what is this one? Oh, this one's the disney 100 stitch one i have only managed to get the stitch i tried for all the others but i've not managed to get them this one oh this one glows in the dark the zero all over placement one he is stunning and then last but not least in this little batch this light up tangled one so the last one in here is the Mickey all over placement. Now, I don't know whether to bring the others into here bit by bit and show them off or whether to just show the others in the bedroom, but there's still quite a few to go. So those were all the lounge flight in this room. Now I need to go and check the ones that are in the bedroom. There's some under the bed, there's some in the wardrobe. There's quite a few places where lounge flight are. So part way through showing them all, let's get back to it. I think I'm going to do the next ones in batches. So the rest of the princess sequins, we have Jasmine. We have Merida from Brave. Pocahontas. There's Belle. We have Moana. I love that one. And we have Mulan. Next batch is going to be princesses. So we have the Tangled Tower. This one has lots of the sidekicks on there. So it's kind of like a multi-princess backpack just move them out the way as I go this one is the little mermaid this one opens as well can I get the there we go and it has Atlantica on there with the sisters the new aerial lenticular the little mermaid stained glass oh this one is for the frozen 10th anniversary with Anna and Elsa on stunning backpack just shimmy some out of the way so Ariel and sisters again and Ariel and Eric on their wedding day the Sleeping Beauty stained glass, which also matches the Little Mermaid stained glass. This is the one I'm using right now. The Sleeping Beauty castle, 
beautiful backpack. This is one of the scenes ones from Cinderella. And then the Beauty and the Beast one. I've moved into the bedroom now, it's just easier. So I've put the parks ones together. So this is the new Disney World Castle with Mickey on. The contemporary resort, complete with monorail as the handle. This is one of the Disney 100 all over print backpacks. And again, another Disney 100 all over print backpacks. These two kind of go together for the Epcot Flower and Garden. We've got the Figment one. I'm sure he moves as well. I think he pivots up and down. And we have the Orange Bird. Then we have the Club 33 Emerald Anniversary one. So it's like a green mosaic style pattern. The Epcot 40th. This one's tiny as well. Look at the size difference. So this one's like a mini, mini, mini backpack. Um, another Walt Disney World 50th. This has a castle on the front. And some of these bits are sewn in as well. Again, a Disney 100 all over placement one, but this one's glittery and it even has glitter on the bottom as well. Another all over parks. This one's not Disney 100, just Disney parks and this one's the Walt Disney World version. There was a Disneyland version with Sleeping Beauty Castle on. And then last in this section, oh, can I just move that, is the Madame Leota Haunted Mansion. So these are some of the others from the Mickey Mouse main attraction collection there's the haunted mansion which i believe these parts glow in the dark as well there's jungle cruise so it looks like a skipper the dumbo one his love feather up there on the top december fireworks i love this one because it has um not sequins this one has glitter on there oops on the ears this one's covered in glitter now we did pop this one in because i forgot to put this one with the park section it's for the disney 100 and it's the statues, the partner statues one. And these fireworks here, they actually light up as well. I'm going festive for this next batch. So this one is like the ski, ski resort, Mickey and Minnie. This part does pivot as well. There we go. This year's Christmas lounge flight. Now Stitch does pivot up and down and it has loads of characters all on the front. And I do have the matching ears for this one as well because the ears are lounge fly brand. Look at this wreath. This one's a shoulder bag. Chipperdale's bum on the back. I love that one. It's got like a, almost like a suede type of bow to that one. Christmas Winnie the Pooh. Look at him and the little bees. And he's got a honey pot with a little bow on there for Christmas. And then I had to have a Grinch one. Look at little Max up top there. And it's like the animated style Grinch. So this next part is going to be the non-Disney section. Now I know I've already done the Draco backpack that was in the other room. This one's the Daenerys Targaryen backpack. Now there is a House of the Dragon one coming, so obviously I'm going to get that one. This is from NASA, and it's it's basically like the cosplay of a spaceman with his outfit on there, but that one's really kind of nicely wrapped, so I don't want to mess. Then we have Ron Weasley in the style of like his Quidditch jersey. Look at the sequins on this one, on this Hello Kitty backpack. This one is so ridiculously sparkly. So this is the second to last batch, starting with BB-8. Is he the heart logo? Oh no. I do have, oh the R2-D2 is the one that I have with the heart logo. The Miss Minutes, now she is a shoulder bag style. They hook on there. This beautiful Fox and the Hound one. Loki backpack, love that one. Look at Simba and Mufasa. And this one is a furry one as well. These parts here, they're like really furry, like a plush. And all over print, Ahsoka. This one is a Sorcerer Mickey from Fantasia. Then look at this Pluto. He's like the Pluto cosplay. He's also really fluffy, Flu fluffy, fluffy, and his ears pivot. We are on the last batch now. This one is the Sisu cosplay, and I can't find Tuk Tuk. I have Tuk Tuk somewhere, and I can't find him. And again, I don't know where I've put Wally. That's so bad. So I do have the Wally one to go with Eve because she's all festive for Christmas. Oh, this one. Okay, she's really nicely wrapped. It's the evil queen when she turns into the hag from Snow White. And I know I should have done this one with the princess ones, but this beautiful little mermaid one with this dingle hopper as well. This one has seen better days, but last but by not means no means least is the up with little pom-poms as the balloons. I missed one. This is the last one now. It's the pink the UV, it's like the UV holographic reflective secret mini. That one is the backpack and I do have the purse as well. Yes, I'm sat on the floor. This all gets a little bit overwhelming at times. I am about to do the slightly dreaded count of how many I currently have. The last time I did this, I think it was, 
was it June last year? So June 2022. And I'm pretty sure at that point it was 117, if I remember correctly. Now, I am going to guesstimate it is more than that. At a complete guess, oof, I'm going to say nearer to 150. So I'm going to guess at like 148. Mom, have a guess, number, because Mom's helping me today. Have a 163. guess. 163. Ooh. So I think 148, Mum thinks 163. I'm asking Leo what he thinks. 150. Leo thinks 150. So what did I say? 148. Leo thinks 150. Mum thinks 163. 163. What does Nan think? Because Nan's oh. here as well. <laughs> we needed all hands on deck. So we're seeing what Nan thinks. She said a thousand. It is not that bad. A thousand? I don't think would even fit in the house. Have a guess, number? We're about to count so we don't actually know the number. So Nan thinks 156. So let's see if someone's going to win that. All of us were under. Oh, what a marathon that was. We counted everything twice. I counted it, Mom counted it and it came out to 189. That's more than even I thought. That's including the purses as well. So, I mean, some of the purses are small. That's how I'm trying to justify it to myself. That doesn't include the lounge flight ears. So 189 is far too much for this small room that I have. So I am going to kind of slightly begrudgingly do a bit of a... I know I need to do a bit of a purge. And I'm going to need to be ruthless, which will be a bit difficult. But... I'm glad I'm getting it done, but right now it's a bit overwhelming. So, Mom bought over a Yule log with her. We're going to go have a break. And we're going to go have some chocolate cake. And because that rhymed. Because Mom got the closest number, she gets the end piece with all the yummy chocolate on there. I might end this video here. Because you're not going to want to see the purge, are you? The next video I'm going to do is building the new bookcase to go just here. To house more lounge fly and do the reshuffle. I have an idea in my head of how I want certain things to look and kind of group together. Whether it comes out that way, who knows? I might end up doing three or four rejigs. But that was my lounge fly collection. I didn't think it would be that many, but at the same time, I'm not massively shocked. But let me know which your favorite backpack from today was. Actually, that's a thought. What's your favorite backpack? I've got two favorites. She's got two, what are they? The rose gold. The rose gold. And the one below it, the candy floss pink. And the candy floss pink. It used to be the yeah. King Arthur's Carousel one. So those are Mum's favourites. My favourite, mine is unquestionable. It's the signed Little Mermaid one, which is just there. It has my name on it and it's signed by Jodie Benson. That one's my personal favourite. I've asked Leo in the past his, the purple sequin. Both our favourite colour is purple and he bought me that one. So that there are some backpacks that will never go anywhere because they have such sentimental value to them. Does Nan have a favourite? And Nan said her favourite is the Dalmatian one. Here's a question. Do you count Loungefly pins? Because if you do, that's 190. <laughs> oh no, it is 190. <laughs> Wait, it is 190. I missed this purse. It was underneath the aerial pin. So if you count pins, it's 191. If you don't, then it's 190. So that makes me kind of worried that I might have missed others. But anyway, so I am going to go and have a rest right now. I mean, obviously for you, it's going to be the end of the video. But for me, I am going to go and have a rest. Then we're going to start some construction. So make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for the reshuffle video. But thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.